add this indicator. It's called super trend, but the one by ever get. And now I don't really have to do anything. Once the signals are generated, whether the buy of the call or buying of the put or their execution, all of it will be done automatically. Hi guys, welcome back to Algo Test. In this video, we're going to be discussing a super trend strategy template and how you can automate that strategy on Algo Test via our signals feature. So there is a strategy template for the super trend indicator on TradingView, and we're going to use those signals to place trades automatically via Algo Test. We're going to demonstrate how simple this is and how easy it is for you to do it on your own. So this strategy is going to involve two legs, buying a call and buying a put. We will be making those legs separately and we will also be making the exit conditions for both of these legs. So it's a comprehensive uh, demonstration. Before I get into the video though, I would request you to note that this is only a demonstration and this is not a strategy recommendation. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. So I'm currently on the Algotest landing page at the moment and I'm gonna click on go to dashboard. Now on the navigation tab, I'm going to click on signals and I'm going to be demonstrating this strategy live. So we're going to be trading with actual money and I'm going to click on new signal over here and select trading view as well as live deployment. All right. So I'm going to create the strategy right now for you. So we're going to create a new strategy here and we're going to click on view advanced strategy creation. Select the index as nifty or you can select whatever you like and then buy strike type will be closest premium and that will be 10. We're going to add this leg and we're going to save this and name this as call buy. Cool. We're going to let the product type be NRML and order type as limit, limit buffer as three for now. If you want to know more in depth about these functions and about these features, it's all there in a separate video titled Execution Settings on Algotest. We we'll link that in the description below. Now I'm going to click on Setup Settings. All right, so at this stage, we're now going to be involving TradingView. So I'm just going to name this alert as Call Buy, right? Save. Now I have to head on over to TradingView, select my Nifty 50 index. Okay, this is my Nifty index. Uh, and this is the five minute chart. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is add this indicator. It's called super trend, but the one by ever get. This is the one we're going to use for the demonstration of this template. Click on that. It gets added to your chart. And as you can see, it's showing you some buy and sell signals. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the algo test tab. It says here, copy the JSON block and paste under message in settings in trading view. So all of these steps that we're now going to do, they've all been detailed in a separate video, which we will also link in the description about how to connect your strategy or any kind of indicator or price action based strategy from trading view or charting to your Algotest account and how to automate that. So I'm not going to be going too in depth about these steps because it's all in that video. So anyway, um, I'm going to click on copy for this JSON block. Then I'm going to right click and click on add alert. Okay. So I want the alert to be, I'm buying a call, right? So I'm going to do that when I feel like the market is going up. In that case, the condition I want to do is select super trend and the alert super trend buy. So once it says buy over here, then I want to buy. All right. Once per bar close in the message section is where we have to paste our JSON block. So we just copied it. Now I'm going to paste it. It's good. Alert name, call buy. All right. Now we have to head on back to Algotest and click on I have pasted. And now we have to copy and paste the webhook URL. So copy. And now back on the same alert page in the notifications tab, we have to go down here where it says webhook URL and paste what we just copied. Once you've done that, simply click on create. So one more thing we're going to do here is we're going to add the add exit alert, meaning we've got the entry signal. Now, when do we want to exit this strategy, right? Besides the stop loss or something that you can set in your strategy settings when you first made the strategy. So I'm going to click on add exit alert and I'm going to name this as call sell because we've bought a call and now we're going to sell that to square it off. 
And once again, all we need to do is copy the JSON block, go back into our trading view chart, click on add alert. And this time we're gonna put the alert as super trend sell. All right, once per bar close and paste our JSON block here. We're gonna name this alert as call sell. And then head over to the notifications tab, go to algo test, click on I have pasted. And now the webhook URL is what needs to be pasted. Copy this, get back here in the webhook URL section, paste this and click on create. Once that's done, now all I need to do is click on start listening. There you go. Now it is just listening for the signal before it actually executes that signal and the trade. One thing to note here is if I set my entry time as 935, which is the case in this strategy, then no signals will be listened to or executed before 935. Only the signals generated at or after 935 will be executed. Now, as you can see, Algotest is waiting for the signal to be generated on TradingView, the signal to be generated on your chart basis of what you've set. And once the signal is generated, the trade will be executed automatically without you having to do anything else. Okay, so that was the call by leg. Now, we also want to do this for the put leg. Okay, so I'm going to click on new signal, click on trading view again, live deployment. Now we're going to create a strategy and view advanced strategy creation. Once again, the nifty index entry time 935 exit time 315. What I'm going to do is once again, process premium as 10, but this time it's buying a put. Once we've done this, we're going to click on save and continue and name this as put buy. Okay. Now, once again, we're going to leave these exec execution settings as they are. Name this alert as put buy. And let's get back to doing our original steps. So copy this JSON block, go back to trading view. Right click and add alert. Once again, select super trend and we're going to select this time alert super trend sell and once per bar close. We're going to paste the JSON block here and we're going to name the alert as head to the notifications tab back to algo test. Click on I have pasted. Now we have to copy the webhook URL and head back to trading view under the notifications tab in the webhook URL section. Paste that there and click on create. Awesome. So that's our put buy entry leg done. Now, of course, we have to add an exit leg for this as well. So I'm going to click on add exit alert. Name this as put sell because we've bought the put. Now we're going to sell the put to square it off. Okay. Copy the JSON block, head back to trading view. Click on add alert. And once again, super trend. Now we're going to select the alert as super trend buy, because remember when we selected super trend sell, that means we think the market is going to go down. So we bought the put. Now we want to square that put off in the case of, let's say we got a failed signal or a signal that didn't work out. So once the alert changes to super trend buy, meaning that the market is probably in an uptrend, then we don't want to stay with that position. We want to square it off because we don't want to lose that money. So we click on super trend buy. So we select super trend buy as the alert. Once again, once per bar close and paste that JSON block, name this alert as put sell and notifications tab. Go on back to algo test, click on I have pasted. Now copy the webhook URL once again and paste it here as per usual. Click on create. And just as simple as that, click on start listening. So now you have your put buy and your call buy and you've built a strategy wherein you're either buying a call if the market is trending up via the super trend. Now you've built a strategy wherein you're buying a call if the market is indicating an uptrend on the basis of the super trend or you're buying a put if the market is trending down on the basis of the super trend. And you've also created their square off signals. So at this point, this strategy is complete and now I don't really have to do anything. Algotest is going to do the heavy lifting for you. 
Once the signals are generated, whether the buy of the call or buying of the put or their execution or their square off signals, all of it will be done automatically. One important thing I want to add over here is you can see a small toggle button that says maximum signal entries. If I toggle this to one, you can see it says you can limit the maximum number of entry signals. For example, if you set this value to one, then your strategy will only take a maximum of one signal entry at one time. So essentially, let's say in my call buy strategy, I am getting a signal and that trade has been executed. The call has been bought. However, maybe I'm getting that signal again and again. If I only want to limit this to a certain number of entries per day or per hour or whatever I wish, I can do so. So let's say I want to limit this to just three entries a day. I can do I can change that to three and now only three entries will be made on this strategy. So thanks for watching this video guys. We hope you found this video useful and we hope that you can use this to create your own strategy templates and automate those on TradingView or charting and add a new dimension to your trading. If you have any questions, please comment them below and make sure you like, subscribe and share this video. See you in the next one.